Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Levi Rogers over here with Remax North San Antonio uh, and the Levi Rogers Real Estate Group uh, out here in shirts at the Cross Fine Community uh, checking out a property for uh, one of my clients. Hey guys, I want you to go ahead and see um, here's your lot that you're looking at over here on Sun Bloom. All right, we're looking at lot number five right there on Sun Bloom, okay? Um, 11806, okay? Just to orientate yourself, um, we have that right there would be lot three with the white truck. That is lot four, and lot five is right over here. Nice size into the cul-de-sac lot. Um, however, I wanna go ahead and talk to you about some things. Uh, as you, you're sitting here in the cul-de-sac, this is very, very nice uh, right here. Um, it's a good positioning. I love the openness of the community. Uh, the one challenge I do see on the lot here, um, depending on where you're gonna be, uh, just like I talked about uh, Jay, uh, when I was out with you guys showing the homes, um, you know, I talked about the expansive soil. Uh, look at this right here. This is an example right here, what I'm talking about, about the soil separating from you know when it when it rains and doesn't rain what happens if your house is on top of that um, again I'm not a, I'm not an engineer I'm not a geologist I'm not any of that but you can see right here I'm not making this up this is on your lot um, so anyways right here you do have the box here which is cool um, you do uh, have a nice big flat level lot um, again uh, you know it's uh, one of those things. Um, again, more evidence of the expansive soils. But that's uh, in a lot of places in San Antonio. However, the issue is, is it due to the lack of rock content down, this is happening all the way down, all right? Um, furthermore, um, what I like about the lot is that the, it's huge. It's a wonderful lot. Um, it, it's, it's absolutely wonderful uh, in size. I love the cul-de-sac positioning. That's valuable, that's very nice. Um, the other thing, um, there is your right side perimeter, and then you see that other orange right there, the left side. Um, as you walk and look back, you do back up to uh, uh, some sort of um, road or area there. Remember what I talked about, about backyards, privacy being the number one thing you need to look at in privacy. Um, privacy is so important, so um, you gotta be able to uh, look at and establish privacy with vegetation on this back. It looks like the developer's done a good job of that so far. Uh, what I'm gonna do is make a second part of this video, and I'm gonna drive around the back side so we can get a little better idea of what this road is, uh, if it's a road. If it's not a high travel road yet, that's okay. But you always have to think about, you can see right there beyond, you see that red uh, uh, red and white deal right there. Uh, and you see in the distance there, you can see some work over there. It looks like they're gonna make this road a main thoroughfare for further on development over in that area. So we, what we really have to do is do a little bit of research and make sure that that's not the case because you don't wanna back up to an entrance road of the community or any future communities. Um, you know, backing up to a road within the community, um, may not be a problem, but if they're gonna put uh, thousands of homes that way, that may become an issue. Uh, may not, it's up to you guys. Um, you do have some space in between the road there, and they have established some privacy to go ahead. They got some trees planted, they got some bushes planted, uh, and then they've got, so you should be able to, you know, pass the, what I call the underwear test, meaning sitting in your backyard and, uh, um, you know, be in your underwear and nobody see you type thing. Uh, however, uh, it comes down to traffic noise and so forth. Uh, but again, we're looking for 80%. We're not looking for 100%. We're never going to find a 100% solution, right? So it's up to you guys. We just need to be informed buyers um, as opposed to uh, just, just shooting on a whim. And um, I want to make sure that you guys absolutely understand everything uh, that's positive and negative about this lot um, and its purchase and so um, again um, I love the builder David Weekly fabulous builder uh, I built I, my, my home my personal residence with David Weekly great builder phenomenal guys um, I know a, a tremendous amount of people within the organization which can be helpful as well um, one of their uh, executives is a good friend of mine uh, and I personally know the builder out here have built several homes with him uh, great great people and so the company 100% has uh, as my uh um, my personal recommendation and professional recommendation. Um, I do believe that they will do everything that's required. Um, you know, I spoke with the, the regional uh, um, guy in charge of this area just earlier, uh, and he, he assured me they'd do everything required on the soil analysis and all that other stuff uh, to make sure that you have a very well-built home. Uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Uh, but it's up to you guys and how you feel. Again, um, just to kind of give you an overview here, we have the uh, the left lot. I like how the electric utilities are ran in the front so that allows you to put a pool in the back without having to worry about things. Um, and so you got this right here. Left side, right side. Good nice 70 foot lot. 
Um, the only negative thing is you see where that stop sign is back there. That thoroughfare runs in between the Sedona and the Cross Vine. And all that area over there in that direction is going to be developed. Um, you know, I'm guessing because I see a big old tractor out there digging. Um, so we need to ask them about that and find out. And then you guys need to either be comfortable or not. But if they're going to put 3,000 homes over there and this road right here behind your house is going to be the main thoroughfare, we need to know about that. But if they're only going to put another 500 homes over there and it's going to be within the community, I, I wouldn't think that'd be a problem, but again, it comes down to your guys' comfort level. A uh, beautiful builder, wonderful product out here. Um, Dino was very nice and explained to me the whole product and showed me everything about it. Um, I like it. I like it all over uh, together. Um, I like the fact that they've established some trees and so forth over there as well. Um, and I like the fact that the lot is flat. Uh, negative aspect, expansive soils over here, uh, minimal rock content in the soil. Again, I'm not a geologist, I'm not an engineer, um, so I would recommend that you consult with them uh, to get their opinion. However, uh, David Weekly Homes has built m hundreds of thousands of homes probably, uh, and uh, they have a great reputation, and, uh, um, and and I think you'll be just fine. And so, uh, uh, looking at that, um, very, very nice. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is Levi Rogers at Remax 210-784-6585. Uh, Levi Remax 210-784-6585. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.